Hello humans and fur babies, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at the king of surrealism, Salvador Dali. You may know his works, The Persistence of Memory, The Great Masturbator, and Dream, caused by the flight of a bee around a pomegranate a second before awakening. But ITR won't be reimagining any of those today. Today, ITR will be reimagining Lobster Telephone. Lobster Telephone is the first sculpture to be reimagined on the ITR Versa series. Yes, the other works are sculptural, but this is actually a sculpture. The anagram title of Lobster Telephone is Peter Noble's Hotel. So grab a tea and sit back and relax and watch as we reimagine Lobster Telephone. When I walk the doggos on the beach every morning, unfortunately plastic is in the ocean and it does wash up on shore. But I do collect the plastic that I find on the shore on my daily trips to the beach. And yesterday I was given this, an old telephone. I'm gonna use all of my beach found bits and pieces to make the lobster. Let me clean this and see what we can make. So the phone's now nice and clean. These old phones have these little things in here which had phone numbers on it to make it convenient for you to call your friends and loved ones. Although that's gonna be covered, I thought it'd be quite cool if I wrote some of Dali's friends on here as though they were on speed dial. He had some damn cool friends. And I also thought it'd be cool if I tried and write it in his handwriting and I actually found a font on urban fonts that's actually called the Dali font, like his handwriting. His wife was Elena Ivanovna Diakonova. I'm just going to write Elena Man Ray, who was another surrealist artist, photographer. Walt Disney, which is pretty cool. They worked on a film together that was unfinished called Destino. Carese Crosby, who invented the brazier. He was friends with a poet called Frederica Garcia Lorca who used to try and crack on to Dali, and Dali's like, dude, I'm not gay. Like, we're mates, but I'm not into it. Sigmund Freud, which again is awesome, did a collaboration with Elsa Schiaparelli, who is an incredible fashion designer, to Amanda Lear, who was a fashion model at the time, who became his muse. I'm going to glue down the receiver. So when I collect bits and pieces from the beach, I break them into colour categories. So I've gotten out my orange, red, pink sort of coloured box of plastics to try and form a lobster shape. I have this hair clip and also these takeaway spoons. So I thought I could glue that onto there, like that, and make like a lab lobster claw sticking out like that or I'm actually going to change the angle of this camera because it's, it's a lot of side profiles that'll be easier kind of like that then because the tail of the lobster hangs over I'm going to thinking like that then I have this car body will go like that because the lobster's got this sort of scaly what do you call them like uh joints maybe joints going down the back so i thought we could do like vertebra i guess the vertebra down the back i thought if i could do this one as well the start of the vertebra maybe i can chop off the bump bar of the car i'm a bit stuck with the head i thought these could be interesting eyes not sure but I also have this orange flip-flop that I've used in another project. Um, I think what I'm going to start is I'm going to glue the claws because I'm pretty happy with how that looks as a claw, as far as claws go. So I found this blue rake in the blue section. 
And I think I can spray paint that orange because I have an orange. And I have this cord, red cord, which I thought I could make the, like the, I don't know what they call them, the feelers at the front. Let me cut this down and I'll see how that looks. Okay, something like that. Mm, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to paint this. Current situation mock-up first draft. So I'm going to cut this down so it fits in there a little bit better. Um, and then I'm going to set all this in place. And I think I've made it more difficult for myself, but I think I've made a decision. I'm going to actually paint the whole thing because it's looking a bit rando. I think if I paint it all, it's gonna look a bit more uniform. I started by painting it all with black chalk paint because I thought that would be easier and I didn't take off what I'd already glued because I was lazy. But then I realized that was stupid, so I pulled it all apart and then I spray painted it all with black gloss. Now I'm starting from scratch again. And I've also painted all the plastic bits in like a red color as a base of lobster action. The cord I was gonna use as the feelers, I actually decided to make the legs. That's gonna be sitting under the car. So I'm gluing those first. Next I glued on the car and aeroplane tail and the vertebra. I cut down the flip-flop to fit in between the head and the car body leg tail action and I painted it to match and glued it down. Then I just proceeded to glue more and more bits and pieces to make it look more lobstery. I had real issues with the glue. I was using the uh, epoxy like to mix glue but then it was drying sticky and it wasn't good. So then I got out the hot glue, but it dries like cloudy, so that's not great. And then the super glue leaves a white halo around it and discolors everything. But it was sort of the only option that I had. For now, we're just gluing it all together. This is where we're at at this point. I ended up going in and putting windows in the car because I didn't want to be able to see the inside which you could. Lobster's looking pretty lobby. Now I'm going to add in the cord. I'm not going to use this springy cord. I'm just going to cut off this and do like a clean black cord. I'm going to start giving some colour to the lobster. So I've got some orange, I've got some brown, I've got some yellow. Got some brighter red. I'm even going to chuck in a bit of fluoro pink if there's any left. Black, white, let's just start making this lobster look lobstery. This is a classic example of a surrealist object made from the conjunction of items not normally associated with each other, resulting in something both playful and menacing. Dali believed that such objects could reveal the secret desires of the unconscious. Lobsters and telephones have strong sexual connotations for Dali, usually associated with erotic pleasure and pain. Dali often drew a close analogy between food and sex. In Lobster Telephone, the crustacean's tail, where its sexual parts are located, is placed directly over the mouthpiece. Peter Noble's Hotel, ITR vs. Dali 2020. Telephone, plastic toys, cables, hair clips, spoons, wire, fuse, rubber flip flops, bottle tops, acrylic paint, enamel paint, and resin.
thank you for watching the fourth installment in the ITR Versus series. I hope you enjoyed Peter Noble's Hotel, and we'll see you in the next video.